Hi, I'm Dr. Ted and this is Fracture Friday. For this episode I have a talus fracture. Okay, well where's the talus? We've talked about it before but I'm going to go over it again so I hope I don't bore people that watch a lot of my videos and if you do watch a lot of my videos thank you for that. But the talus is basically the bone, well it's the foot part of the ankle joint. So you have your tibia or your shin bone and you have your fibula that make up the leg or your shin um, and then you have the talus that's underneath that to make up the ankle joint itself. So a talus fracture is a fracture of that bone at the bottom half of the ankle joint. So it's an interesting bone to break because the blood supply to that bone is tenuous especially when it's broken. So it can lead to avascular necrosis or stripping of the blood supply to part of the talus and causing that bone to die because of lack of blood supply. So displaced talus fractures can turn out to be a very difficult fracture to manage. So what I have here isn't a lateral of a talus fracture, it's a tailor neck fracture which is the one that's associated with this stripping of the blood supply that can cause problems. So what do we do for that? Well we have to get it back as close to possible to anatomic to avoid any kind of decrease in blood supply. So we basically reduce the fracture, basically open it up, it's called open reduction internal fixation, reduce the fracture and put screws in it. So this post-operative x-ray shows an AP of the two screws that are used to fix this talus fracture and then we have here this lateral of the same two screws that are holding this talus fracture and it's anatomically reduced state to try to avoid development of avast necrosis of the Taylor dome, the part right underneath the ankle, um, and ultimately possibly post-traumatic arthritis. Um, we hope that all that stuff can be avoided by treating the fracture in this fashion. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Thanks for watching. Hi, Dr. Ted. Thanks for sticking around after the video. If you'd like to see some more content from us, please subscribe to the channel and like this video.